What's up, guys? I'm Zero. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by again. Today, we are on the Battlefield 4 early beta, which the full beta will be released on October 3rd. It's October 1st today. And I was playing it on PC. I was trying to stay up till 4 o'clock because it's supposed to release 4 o'clock a.m. where I live in Michigan. But I couldn't make that. So I was up till 2, took a nap, woke up at 7, started playing. There was a frick ton of servers already. Um, I don't know if that's all dice. I didn't really do my research on that, but there's a lot of servers, and it was all right. I'm having, I'm, and I don't know. I'm at that point in the same point that I was at with Battlefield 3 beta, where the Battlefield 3 beta, I played it, I could play it, but I wasn't enjoying myself. And I think Battlefield is also one of those games that without friends or like a, a group of people to play with and a squad to be a part of that you enjoy, the game isn't as fun. So I'm not, I, I think the beta is good. I think Battlefield 4 is going to be good, but I'm not, I haven't really had fun yet. I've just been more or less running around doing stuff and, you know, playing by myself because everyone else is in school and I'm in, uh, I got Tuesdays off. College life. So... So far, basically what I've been through is I've played a lot of the Assault class, which is going to be the Assault Rifle class for anybody that doesn't know, which will be any kind of Assault Rifle, a pistol, starts off as a grenade launcher, and med kits, and then after you get through one service level of the Assault class, you can get the defibs, which are not as good as they were in the last one. If you have to, when you're doing the defibs, you have to basically warm them up and then hit your player. So, if I try to run around a corner real quick, revive somebody, and then run back, you'll get shot before you can revive that person, because you have to wait that extra second to ha half a second to a second to warm them up and then shock the player. So, they're not quite as good as they used to be, and then the med kit is actually, you have, I think, three or four mini med kits that you can throw at a player and it'll stick to that player, and then they will continue to heal that player until he takes damage, and then the med kit effect will stop. So... Assault is the main one I played. I played a little bit of Recon, and that was that was kind of fun. You got a good kick. It feels it feels tough. It feels a little bit um, stronger of a kick than uh, how would I think it? Battlefield 3 would be. And I'm gonna try to play it on console in a little bit to see what kind of vibration kick you get from the controller on that, because Battlefield 3's you know feedback on a sniper shot was not that strong. Did not feel nearly as good as Battlefield Bad Company 2, which is. By far my favorite sniper battlefield out of any of them. But the snipers in this one are still kind of fun. And the main thing that really makes Battlefield fun for me is not the guns or anything. I don't think any of that really changed that much. It still feels like the same game as Battlefield 3, but things look different. It feels like Call of Duty in that way. But what they did do was change a lot of either environmental things or the small... Uh, movement things and all that kind of stuff so as you approach a corner your character will start to peek it's not a um, you control corner peek type thing as I would expect it to be and if it is I haven't figured out how to do it yet and then you have this swimming which is pretty sweet you can swim underwater which I like and then you can basically just come up for half a second take a breath go back under and basically stay back under for another 10 seconds which makes it pretty tough to catch people going across the water like they can sneak past you in the water pretty dang easily which is causing me a lot of problems um but other than that i mean it's fun it's a good thing it's a good worth playing if you pre-order battlefield 4 you can get the beta now if not you'll get it in a couple days and right now it is only conquest which sucks I really only play Rush or Team Deathmatch. I'm not a big fan of Conquest because I'm not a big fan of turning a corner and seeing a tank every single building. So I prefer Rush, but it's Conquest, and it's not terrible. Try to get some friends together, play it, have some fun. I still think it's a great game. I'm just kind of wait and see till Battlefield 4 because the Battlefield 3 beta was not a good representative of Battlefield 3 in itself. And Battlefield 4 beta isn't terrible, but if it's the same exact thing in Battlefield 4 full release, I will probably not be buying premium and such. 
But that's basically what I have today. That's only about after four hours of play. So I will get back to you guys later on. I'll try to put some more videos up. Maybe. I don't know what I'm going to do it about. I'm not really much of a stats guy, which is what most people are going to be uploading. Is like, this gun is a four-shot kill to the head and a three-shot to the foot. You know, good gun mechanics with the foot shots. Either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Have fun.